Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about all my years of experience. All right, so once again, I decided to drive out to a scenic location to do the video only to find out when I get here that it's far too windy to actually film outside, but that's okay. I'll just do it from the car again. So, you know, one of the things I miss about working in a corporate environment, all right, actually, I, I wouldn't say that I miss it. I just noticed that it doesn't happen a lot anymore is that people don't tell me how many years experience they have when they want to complain about something. This was something that would happen a lot whenever I work in like investment banks or publishers. I, it was all different types of places. As long as there was a lot of people and they've been doing the job a long time, you would hear this. I've been doing this job for 15 years and never have I experienced such and such or you know in my eight years experience I've never experienced yeah I've never had this kind of problem or whatever and it was just kind of it would work its way into the conversation it always seemed silly to me because it had nothing to do with the problem at hand more about the experience level of the person talking right and the people were really good at what they did they never did that I always found that people were like 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 the the gurus who just knew how to do everything they're like, especially the technical people they never said that because they always thinking about the latest technology they're working on rather than their career as a whole so they would never say in my 20 years of technology they, but they might say you know they've been doing c sharp for five years or whatever so it never really came up but it was it was never relevant it was never relevant to the problem at hand i can remember one time i was working in an investment bank and i had to I was, for some reason, I was tasked with looking after a vendor's application. So a vendor came in, installed this trading application on the trading floor, and for some reason it kept crashing, so, so they asked if I would go take a look at it and help out the team on the trading floor to, to, to look at it. So I, I went down there, and sure enough, it just kept crashing. It was like totally inconsistent. We started saying the app is terrible, so I get on the phone, talk to the vendor, and they're going, no, everything works fine for everybody else. They think, they said, it might be a network issue. Maybe your network packets are dropping, right? So I, I talked to the networks team in the um, in the bank, and they said, no, no, everything's fine with networks. We open everything up. We don't detect any issues. Everything's fine, right? So, okay, fine. And it went back and forth, and I kept going back saying, everything I looked at looks like it should be the networks. And they said, it's not the networks. And then I said, okay, here's what I did. I removed it from the network and just went straight to the internet and everything works. So it's got to be the networks. And the network, the guy in the network team says, look, it's not the networks, right? It, that's not proof, right? So finally, I got this application called Ping Plotter, which just pings and pings and pings. It has like a nice graph. And I found that the packets were dropping every like 11 seconds. It was consistent. I could time it, right? It was just every 11 seconds, packets drop. And then it would keep going. It was just like consistent and I left it running for days. I kept going back to the networks team and I said, no, it's, it's still the application. Sometimes an application could do it where if it has too many, too many failures and it drops or whatever. So I did that and, and it was like, I left it running for days and I, and, I would, and I would show everybody, surely it's a networks issue. And everybody would say, yeah, surely it's a network issue. Everybody agreed with it except the networks guy. The networks guy was sure it wasn't a networks issue. And then, so I sent him an email and I said, Here's the graph. Here's a graph over the last two months. It last, you know, because after it took so long to resolve this, and it became a political thing rather than a technical issue because one guy was holding his ground, and I was just like, there was nothing else I could do. Like if we went outside the network, everything would work fine, but we couldn't do that within the, you know, because of risk reasons or whatever, some sort of policy reasons. We couldn't just go connect straight to the internet. We had to go through the network, which was not working. So finally, I sent the guy an email saying, "Look, here's this." graphs of all this time we i have proven that it's a network issue and he sent me back an email saying oh oh you think it's a network issue i've been doing this job for 15 years and you want to tell me how to do my job right and i was just like i was surprised that he went there with that right it was like how many years experience you have 
doesn't help solve the problem at all, right? And it was, it was, it was so stupid. It was one of these things. If you ever work in a corporate environment, you know what this is like. It was a, it became a political thing where senior managers were talking about it. Where the, the real issue was a technical one. It was like it was all ones and zeros over here, but it became a big thing where their senior manager was talking to my senior manager, and then it was like you know, and all these other people getting involved. We had these, we had all these meetings. I mean, corporate. Things in a corporate environment move very, very slow. And sometimes it's the people will dig in their heels and just say, with all my experience, I know what I'm talking about and what I say goes regardless of what's actually happening. And I've, you know, I've heard this again, again and again. In all my years of experience, I have never done this. I've never done this. And it just carried, it's never carried any, any weight with me. So for those of you guys who've been in a corporate environment, have you ever experienced this? And, and what do you think about it? Do you think it's, it's valid? I mean, I, you know, because you know, because you know, as a software developer, you know there are software developers who've been doing it for years that are you know, they're okay or they're terrible, uh, and you know there's some that have been doing it for a shorter amount of time and they're just spot on. They're just always learning, always doing, and then the amount of experience, the quantity of it, has no bearing on that at all. So. Anyway, just some thoughts for today. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys ever experienced that? Does it bother you? Or do you go to that? Do you ever go, do you ever tell people how many years experience you have? And yeah, how does that work out for you? Because I don't know, I just never done it. So in my 20 years experience, I've never done it. (laughs) Anyway, anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.